All right, now I'm going to cover the last section of our homepage to show you how to create it. So right now we've gone over some content, some feature boxes. Of course, if you don't want to use any of those, just leave them blank and they'll automatically hide. But the last section to go over is the sections that you see in the live preview of the sermon posts and the pastors, and those are all done under widgets. So let's go to our dashboard and go under appearance and widgets, and you'll see the widget areas. And there's two of them that we're going to reference. One is home page, and then one is on home page widgets on all pages. Both of these, you must use widgets that are labeled home. You see them right here. I think there's five or six of them. And so you can pull in various posts. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and just create an example, and then it will make sense. So we can just grab our sermons post, for example, and throw that under our home page right here. And let's go and open the site another tab. And if you scroll down, you'll see it created for you. Pretty cool. All right. And so let's go back to our widgets and show you how it's set up. So each widget has a ton of options. So you can adjust any of these options right here. By default, it will pull in all sermon posts. You can create a category and pull in a specific category under sermons if you would like. You can adjust the columns, how many posts are pulled in. There's a button for more sermons. And if you want to remove that, just leave that blank. You can adjust the background color if you want. And you can also uh, add an image. So I think in the live preview, we actually have a background image. So let's go ahead and save that. This is just for example sake, I'm playing around with the options. So now we change it to a background image. And of course, there's this check for light text. If you uncheck that, the fonts will change from white to a darker color, you can see there. And uh, that makes sense if you have a different background color that, that references it. So again, just play around with these options right here. Uh, it's all pretty easy stuff. And you can just mess around with them and click save when you're done. Again, that works with any of these. Uh, I think in the live preview, the next section we have is uh, staff posts, which is pastors. So we drop that in, you can adjust the title, add in some text, the columns, etc., the background color. By default, it's already set up like the live preview. So if we refresh it, you can see it pulling in the pastors in the text right there. So um, that's how, uh, to uh, create these different areas. Again, there's even other widgets that aren't demoed, like blog posts, event posts, and a cool highlight widget. And the highlight widget just gives you additional options for content at full width. You can see how that works. Just an example way to show you how to make uh, different content areas. The last thing to go over is this section right here on all pages. Now let's say I want to list my pastors on all pages and not just the home page. I can drop that in there. And now when I refresh the page, you'll see pastors displays on the home page and on every other page like about. So it just kind of gives you an additional uh, ability if you want to display one or more widgets, one of those home page widgets on every page.